You're the coffee that I need in the morning. You're not sunshine in the rain when it's pouring. Just give yourself to me. Give it all. I just want to see. I just want to see how beautiful you are. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Essence of Shay. Let's get started. <laughs> what the heck, bro? Anyways, guys, um, <laughs> this video today I will be talking about what you should and should not be listening to when it comes to us, the so-called lot gurus. <laughs> Uh, before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. You keep coming back. You keep coming back. And I appreciate you. Just click that subscribe. Just click that subscribe button, so we can keep these contents. Contents. I can't talk. These contents pushed out. You feel me? So this is gonna be a quick video because i had something on my chest that i just wanted to talk to you guys about i was watching a few videos i was watching a few live streams i was watching a f reading a few blogs that have to do with the lock community and the people who giving out lock advice as myself and a few other people and i'm just here to say that our each person who gives um their definition of advice is talking about things that have worked for them, things that they have researched, or things that they see work for other people. Now look, you don't have to listen. I, in a video before, did a, a retwist with edge control, and then I saw someone talking about um, on a live that you should never use edge control to retwist your locks. Don't be listening to these lock YouTubers. And with that, I just have to say that, look guys, our um, past and journeys in this lock community is completely different from the next. Um, Things are trial and error. Uh, someone tells you do not put a bunch of salt on your food. It will give you high blood pressure. And what do you do? You stop putting salt in your food and then your food don't taste good. So you slowly incorporate salt, but you don't put a lot of it. I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm just saying to say that not everything that someone has to say, you need to listen to it. Okay, what may work for me may not work for you. What may work for you may not work for me. Now, I um, in my previous video, I discussed how the edge control helped me out and what it the side effects were. You can check that out. But all in all, this is just a trial and error. This is just like permed hair, loose natural braids shaving off your head, bleaching your hair, whatever it is, everything is trial and error. You see what works for you and you see what doesn't. Uh, some key things not to put in your hair is for one is wax. We already know about beeswax. When it gets uh, solidified, it goes through your hair. When it gets hard, it's stuck in your hair. Um, unfortunately, with locks, you can't get that out. That's one thing. Another thing is mayonnaise. Um, I've seen a lot of people use mayonnaise and me I don't think that's the best thing to use but I don't mind trying it to see uh, like if it actually works because I've seen a, a few lock youtubers use mayo on a few other concoctions in their hair and their hair have come out pretty good and I've seen them in person and there doesn't seem to be anything going on in there but I just personally never have used it and wasn't um inclined to use it either but that doesn't mean that i'm not gonna try it out for the sake of you guys i mean this is hair yes this is my temple yes i have uh, a best friend attachment to it but also i put myself out here to educate not only you but myself um when i do research when i watch other people's videos when i look through my comments um um 
it helps me ed educate myself and be a better person. I'm not out here to bash anybody about what they want to teach you about their log journey and what they've learned um, moving forward and what they want to teach you or show you or like open an open dialect with you. I just think it's wrong to sit down and tell someone, well, don't listen to those lock YouTubers because I'm a loctician and I know what I'm doing. Like, that's so ugh, on your high horse and somebody's gonna kick you off of it soon. So if you're one of those people, please stop doing that. Um, It's grinding my gears. Anyways, I still love you guys. I mean, we're all, we all are out here to serve a purpose and just make sure it's a positive one. Like you can't live your life positive and on cloud nine all the time, but don't go around just bashing others because you don't agree with uh, their lifestyle or agree with what they're promoting. If it's not hurting other people and is educating people and opening their eyes up to other things and in turn you're getting educated as well, um, I don't see the harm in that. But to make fun and do all that extra stuff, it's not worth it. It's dumb. And that's why I feel like the lot community isn't as high on um, uh, YouTube or social media scale as it should be because you know we don't we we promote oh we're together and we're sisterhood and all this stuff but uh, some of us are really not and it's it's a shame but it is what it is but um yeah so I'm sorry for this rant I hope it made sense if you have any comments about what I said leave comments in the box deep, deep below you guys know your girl stutters it is what it is um also put video ideas of what you want to see in the comment box below ski i love you guys for watching i love you guys for supporting i love you guys for your feedback whether you agree with me or you don't agree with me i don't want a bunch of yes men so i appreciate oh, yes women either so i appreciate everyone um stay blessed I love you guys so much for watching. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. <laughs> what the heck? Stop drinking coffee, bro. Stop. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max Mag.